Hello, Jay here. Welcome to Intermediate Guitar Chapter 14. Okay, we're going to keep exploring our dominant seven chords. And last chapter, we talked about bar chords based off of our A string or the fifth string. Today, we're going to talk about the six string based bar chords. Okay, we're going to start off with an A7. And basically, it's going to be an A major bar chord without your pinky. So based off of the fifth fret with my index finger on the sixth string, then go to ring finger on the seventh fret fifth string, barring to get the fifth fret with my index on the fourth string, middle finger picks up the sixth fret on the third string, and then barring to get the fifth frets on the first and second string with index finger. So that's A7 bar chord. Okay, now another great bar chord is just to add your pinky to the eighth fret on the second string. That's another nice dominant seven bar chord. Okay, now in open position, you could have your open six, open fifth string, and then middle finger is on the second fret four string, open third string, ring finger is on the second fret second string, and then open first string. Open position A7. And then there's also a nice kind of a bar. Um, with my index finger, I'm gonna get the second frets on the fourth, third, and second string, and then middle finger picks up the third fret on the first string. That's another cool A7, sort of in the open position. Okay, for our G7 bar chord, I've got my index finger on the third fret sixth string, ring finger gets the fifth fret fifth string, barring to get the third fret on the fourth string with my index, middle gets the fourth fret on the third string, and then index picks up the third frets on the first and second string. And again, just a major bar chord without your pinky. Okay, now here's that variation. Add your pinky to the sixth fret on the second string. There's a D string root dominant seven chord. I'm gonna give us two, and this is totally movable. This can go for all different chords too. So for a G7 based off of the D string, just bypass your six and your fifth string, starting on the fourth string with index finger on the fifth fret. Ring finger goes to the seventh fret third string. Middle goes to the sixth fret second string, and then pinky gets the seventh fret on the first string. And that's a cool higher pitched dominant seven chord. Okay, now there's also your open position G7. For this one, I got my ring finger on the third fret sixth string, middle fingers on the second fret fifth string, open fourth string, open third string, open second string, and then in index gets the first fret on the first string. Open position G7. This chapter's trump pattern is going to feature our rhythm we've been working on with the 8th note and two 16th notes, along with just a couple beats of regular 8th notes. When you see the box without a bottom, that's a down strum, and an arrow pointing down is an up strum. Okay, now on beat one, we're going to have the 8th note with two 16th notes, and I'm going to recommend a down, down up for that, and just keep your strumming going, and just don't make contact with that first up strum. Now on beat two, we'll just have regular eighth notes and two down strums for that, and then repeat the same pattern for beats three and four. Okay, now here's the pattern without a chord. One and a two and three and a four and one and a two and three and a four and one, two, three, four. I'll just be playing each of these one time, but I recommend repeat them all eight to 12 times and check out your different tempos, slow, medium, and fast. Okay, grab your A7 and let's go four bars of that pattern. One and a two and three and a four and. Okay, I recommend using a metronome. I'm gonna have my click at 60 beats a minute, and here's number one with a click. One and a two and three and a four and. Okay, for number two, we're gonna go four bars with G7. One and a two and three and a four and. Here's number two a little fast. 
faster. One and a two and three and a four and. <laughs> Okay, for number three, we're gonna have an eight bar progression. We're gonna go four bars of A7 and two four bars of G7. One and a two and three and a four and. We're going to go two bars of A7 into two bars of G7. One, two, three, and a four, and... For number five, we're going to go one bar of A7 into one bar of G7 and then repeat that again for bars three and four. One, two, three, and a four, and... Okay, for the next numbers, we're going to incorporate some chords from previous chapters along with some rhythms we've talked about. For number six, we're going to start off with A7, and we're going to go first two beats, normal pattern, but then we'll do a half note for beats three and four. That's a chord lasting for two beats. On bar two, we're going to start off with a half note, and then we'll go back into our pattern for, bar, for beats three and four. On bar three, we'll switch it to a D, and we'll have normal pattern, but we'll have a half note rest. Um, for the third and fourth beat of that third bar. And then on bar four, we're gonna start off with a half note rest for the first two beats and then resume our pattern for beats three and four. Okay, for D major, I'm gonna be doing my D major bar chord based off of the fifth string. I have my index finger on the fifth fret, fifth string, and then ring finger gets the seventh frets on the fourth, third, and second string. And I'm making contact, muting my low sixth string, and I'm arcing, arching out of my bar chord to mute the first string. There's your D major. Okay, here comes number six. One, two, three, four. One, two. Rest, rest. One, two. Okay, for number seven, we're gonna start off with the G7. We'll have normal pattern for the first two bars. We'll have a whole note rest on bar three where we won't play anything for four beats. And then we'll switch it to an F and have normal pattern on bar four. For F, I'm just doing major bar chord based off of the sixth string on my first fret. I have my index finger. Ring finger has got the third fret fifth string. Pinky has the third fret fourth string. Middle has the second fret third string. And then barring to get the first frets on the first and second string with my index. Here's your F. Okay, here comes number seven. One, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Okay, for number eight, we're gonna do an eight bar progression. We're gonna start off with A7. We'll have normal pattern with a quarter note rest on beat one. Bar two is just normal pattern. Switch it to a D minor on bar three. We'll have normal pattern, but with a quarter note rest on beat one, and then normal pattern on bar four. Switch it to a B major. Normal pattern on bar five, but with a quarter note rest on beat four, and then normal pattern on bar six. We'll switch it to an E major on bar seven. Normal pattern with the quarter note rest on beat three, and then normal pattern for the last bar, bar eight. For D minor, I'm doing my minor bar chord based off of the fifth string. I have my index finger, fifth fret, fifth string, ring finger, seventh fret, fourth string, pinky, seventh fret, third string, middle, sixth fret, second string, and then barring to get my first fret. I'm sorry, fifth fret on the first string. Making contact to mute that low sixth string. 
For B major, I'm going to do major bar chord based off of the fifth string. I've got my index finger on the second fret fifth string and then barring with my ring to get the fourth frets on the fourth, third, and second string. And then for E major, take that same shape up. Now I've got my index on the seventh fret fifth string and then barring with my ring to get the ninth frets on the fourth, third, and second string. Okay, here comes number eight and I'm going to do this one with a click. One, two, three, and a four, and rest. 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 Okay, for the last one, number nine, we're going to do G7 normal pattern for bar one. We're going to do a whole note tied to a quarter note on bar two. So we'll hit a chord, let it last for those four beats into the first beat of bar three. Then we'll switch it to an E minor on beat two and we'll have, we'll resume our normal pattern. On the last bar, we'll have normal pattern on E minor. For your E minor bar chord, Based off of the 7th fret on the 5th string with my index, and then ring finger gets the 9th fret 4th string, pinky gets the 9th fret 3rd string, middle gets the 8th fret 2nd string, and then barring to get the 7th fret on the 1st string. And since it's E, you could have your open E ringing if you like. Okay, here comes number 9. 1, 2, 3, and a 4, and... 1, 2, 3, 4, 1... Number nine a little faster. One, two, three, and a four, and two, three, four, one. Okay, for this chapter of scales, we're going to talk about the A mixolydian, A blue scale, and the G mixolydian, and the G blue scale. Mixolydian is a great scale that goes along with dominant seven chords. It, it's basically a major scale with a flat seven, and it's built off of the fifth mode of the major scale. Okay, so for our A mixolydian, first of all, our notes are going to be an A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, and it would have been a G sharp if we were playing a A major scale. Okay, now um, for number one A, we're just going to run our A mixolydian scale. We're going to go up two octaves plus a couple notes. So on your low sixth string, it's going to be a 5 7. Fifth string is a 4 5 7. Fourth string is a 4 5 7. Third string is a 4 6 7. Second string is a 5 7 8. Fifth fret on your first string is your second octave A. And then we'll climb up to our seventh and ninth fret on that string. Descending, we'll go 7 to 5 on the first string. 8 7 5 on the second string. 7, 6, 4 on the third string, 7, 5, 4, four string, 7, 5, 4, four string, and then 7, 5 on your sixth string. Okay, now I'm going to recommend to work your four basic rhythms, quarter notes, eighth notes, eighth note triplets, and sixteenth notes. I'm going to start off with just some quarter notes. One, two, three, four. metronome for the next rhythms. For eighth note triplets, you could do two on each note or just one. I'm going to do one on each note. One, two, three, and four. And... triplets you could do three on each note or just one on each note I'm gonna do three on each note one two three triplet four triplet <laughs> For 
16th notes, you could do four on each note or just one on each note. I'm gonna do one on each note. One, two, three, E and a, four, E and a. Okay, for number one B, we're gonna add our new rhythm onto our scale and it's gonna sound like this. One and a two and a three and a four and a. And you could pick all down picks or a down down up. Pick is a nice economical way to pick it. So I'm gonna do a down down up and this is gonna be one octave A mixolydian with this rhythm. One, two, three, and a four, and a. recommend take this up for the full um, length of the scale going a little bit past the two octaves. I'll go ahead and try that. One, two, three, and a four, and a. Okay, for number 2A, we're going to look at the A blue scale. The blue scale is basically a minor pentatonic with an extra note, it's a flat fifth. So for your A blue scale, we're going to start off on the low 6th string, we're going to go 5 to 8. On the 5th string, we're going to go 5, 6, 7. And that middle note, that's your flat 5 right there. On the 4th string, we'll go 5 to 7. 3rd string is a 5, 7, 8. 2nd string is a 5, 8. And the 1st string is a 5, 8. Okay, now I'm going to bypass um, the other rhythms, but I'm just going to play quarter notes up and down the A blues scale. One, two, three, four. Okay, now for number 2B, let's put our new rhythm on the A blues scale. And I'm going to just go one octave. One two, three, and a four, and a. Okay, I'm gonna take this one up to the two octaves and I'm just doing all down picks. One, two, three, and a four, and a. Okay, for number three and four, we're gonna do groups of four. So we're basically going to go up when we ascend four notes. We're gonna backtrack two notes and then go back up four notes and repeat that process. So here's number three going up one octave in groups of four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now for number four, we're gonna descend our groups of four. I'm gonna do one octave. One, two, three, four. Now here's descending groups of four, two octaves. One, two, three, four. Okay, now for number five and six, we're gonna do intervals of a fourth. We're gonna jump up a fourth from the first note, go to your second note, and we're gonna jump up a fourth from there. So we're skipping 
couple notes as we do that that jump we're bypassing the second note and the third note going right up to a fourth above it okay now here's number five i'm going to go up in fours up to the second octave one two three four Okay, now here's descending fourths coming down. Three, four. Okay, now we're gonna look at the G Mixolydian scale and the G Blues scale. Your notes for G Mixolydian are G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and then back to a G. So all the notes of G Mixolydian are natural, and that relates with the key of C major because Mixolydian is built off the fifth. So if I think in the key of C, C, D, E, F, G, that's gonna be my Mixolydian mode, and that's what we're basically playing right now. Okay, now your notes are gonna be third to fifth fret on your sixth string. Mm -hmm. Fifth string, two, three, five. Fourth string, two, three, five. Third string, two, four, five. Second string, three, five, six. And then first string, three, five, seven. Taking it back down, we'll have a five and a three on the first string. Six, five, three, second string. Five, four, two on your third string. Five, three, two on the fourth string. Five, three, two on the fifth string. And then five to three on your sixth string. Okay, now I'm just gonna play quarter notes for this, but I do recommend also hit those other rhythms. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're gonna put our new rhythm on this. That's the eighth note with two sixteenth notes. And you could go down, down, up, or just pick them all down pick. I'm gonna do all down picks for this. And this is gonna be G Mix Lydian. This is number one B. One, two, three, and a four, and a. <laughs> Okay, for number two, we're gonna look at the G blue scale. Your notes for this is gonna be a G, B flat, C, D flat, D, and F natural to a G. Okay, now our notes are gonna be three to six on the sixth string, three, four, five on the fifth string, three, five on the fourth string, three, five, six on the third string, three, six on the second string, and then three, six on your first string. Okay, I'm just gonna play quarter notes for this. Here we go. One. Two, three, four. Okay, for number two B, I'm gonna put the new rhythm on this one, and I'm just gonna go up all the way through the scale. Two, three, and a four, and a. Okay, for number three and four, we're gonna go in groups of four. So here goes number three, ascending one octave in the G mix scale. One, two, three, four. Here's going groups of four up for the full two octaves. One, two, three, four.
Okay, for number four, we're gonna descend in groups of four. Here is one octave. One, two, three, four. And then here's descending the two octaves in groups of four. One, two, three, four. Five and six, we're gonna do fourths intervals. Okay, I'm gonna start off with ascending fourths. One, two, three, four. And then here's number six, descending fourths. One, two, three, four. Okay, I always recommend to jam on your chords and your scales and do some improvisation. I'm gonna go ahead and play an A7 chord and then jam some A mixolydian and some A blues scales. Okay, here we go. Oh, one, two, three. Okay, now I'm going to jam on a G7 and run some G mix and some G blues scale. One, two, three, four. Okay, the study for this chapter is going to be part two of triad study, and today we're going to be looking at some groups of three, and we're going to be doing some picking exercises with them, staying in a position. Okay, now um, we have, we've explored playing some triads, cruising up and down the neck on the different sets of strings. Okay, now for this one, we're just going to be thinking straight up and down. So we're going to target the key of G for number one, and your G triad notes are going to be a G, B, and a D, and that's the root, third, and fifth in the key of G. And so if you play a G major chord, you're basically playing those three notes, but we're just doubling some of those notes. Okay, now, um, first of all, it's just to play some of these triads on their own. So the first one's gonna be third fret, sixth string, second fret, fifth string, and open four string. Okay, now I've got my second fret, fifth string, open four string, open third string. Okay, now I have my second fret, fifth string, open four string, open third string. The next one's going to be 5th fret 5th string, 5th fret 4th string, and 4th fret 3rd string. You could do like an E major shape. Okay, next one's going to be open 4th string, open 3rd string, open 2nd string. Now I've got 5th fret 4th string, 4th fret 3rd string, and 3rd fret 2nd string. Okay, now open 3rd string, open 2nd string, 3rd fret 1st string. And then using my middle finger to get the fourth fret, third string, and then barring to get the third frets on the first and second string. 
Okay, now for number one B, we're gonna start to do some picking exercises. You can go all down picks, or you can do a down, down, up, which is a good economical way to pick it. I'm gonna be doing down, down, ups. Okay, now I'm grabbing my first triad, and I'm gonna just re be repeating these four times, but I definitely recommend repeat them eight to 12 times and get, get to know them a little bit. Here comes number one B. Three, four. <laughs> Number one, C. Here's number two, A. Two, B. Okay, now to start to descend it, we could think of a down, 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 or an up, up, down. I'm gonna be doing an up, up, down for this one. Okay, now here comes number two, C. Here's number 2D. Two, 2E. Two and 2F. Two okay, now for number three, we're gonna look at a G minor triad. We're gonna flat our third, so now our three notes are a G, B flat, and a D. And let's go ahead and play some of these triads on their own, first of all. Here's the first one. I've got my third fret, sixth string, first fret, fifth string, and open four string. Next one, I've got my first fret, fifth string, open four string, open third string. Next one, I've got my fifth fret, fifth string, fifth fret, four string, and then third fret on the third string. Next one, I've got my fifth fret, four string, and then barring to get my third frets on my third and second string. Next one, just using my index just to get third frets on the first three strings. And then one more, stretch with your pinky and grab your sixth fret on the first string while you're still borrowing those third frets on the second and third string. Okay, now let's go ahead and start doing some picking. This is number three B. Three C. A, 4B, 4C, 4D, 4E, and last one. Okay, now for number five, we're gonna look at a C major triad. Our three notes are C, E, and G. Okay, for the first one, gonna have third frets on the sixth string and the fifth string, and then um, second fret on the fourth string. I'm kind of doing that E major shape. Next one, third fret, fifth string, second fret, fourth string, open third string. Now I've got my second fret, fourth string, open third string, first fret, second string. Okay, here's fifth frets on the fourth, Third and second string, I'm just using my ring finger. Next one's open third string, first fret second string, open first string. And then fifth fret third string, fifth fret second string, third fret first string. Okay, now we're gonna start doing some picking. Here comes number five, B. Five, C. 6A, 6B, 6C, 6D, 6E, Okay, now we're gonna take it to C minor. We're gonna flat the third, so our three notes now are C, E flat, and G. Here's the triads to start us off. I've got third fret, sixth string, third fret, fifth string, and then first fret, fourth string. Next one, I've got third fret, fifth string, first fret, fourth string, and open third string. Next one is first fret, fourth string, open third string, first fret, second string. 
Next one is 5th fret 4th string, 5th fret 3rd string, 4th fret 2nd string. I'm doing that E major shape. And the last one's going to be 5th fret 3rd string, 4th fret 2nd string, and 3rd fret 1st string. Okay, here comes some picking. This is number 1B. C, 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D, 2E, and 2F. Okay, now for number three, we're going to look at A major triad. Our three notes uh, is an A, C sharp, and an E. Okay, now for first triad, it's going to be fifth fret, sixth string, fourth fret, fifth string, and second fret, fourth string. I'm using my pinky, ring, and index for this. You can also try ring, middle, and index too if you like. Next one's going to be fourth fret on the fifth string, and then second frets on the fourth and third string. I'm barring to get those second frets and using my ring finger to get that fourth fret. Okay, next one's a two, two, two on your fourth, third, and second string. I'm just using my index to bar. Okay, next one's second fret, third string, second fret, second string, and open first string. And then using my index, I'm going to get the second frets on the third and second string, and then pinky gets the fifth fret first string. Okay, here comes some picking. Number 3B. 3C. 4A. 4B. 4C. 4D. 4E. Okay, for number five and six, we're going to go to A minor. We're going to flat our third and have an A, C, natural E now. Okay, the first triad's going to be fifth fret, sixth string, third fret, fifth string, and second fret, fourth string. I'm using my pinky middle and index for this. Okay, next one's third fret, fifth string, second fret on your fourth and third string. I'm using my middle and barring with my index for this. Okay, next one is basically your A minor shape. It's second fret on your fourth string, second fret, third string, and first fret, second string. Okay, next one is second fret, third string, first fret, second string, open first string. And then just five, five, five on the three high strings for the last one. Okay, let's go ahead and do some picking. Here's number five, B. Five, C. 6A, 6B, 6C, 6D, 6E, and then 6F. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you for chapter 14. Rock on.